Hi Aries, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of June of 2020 reading. I'm going to be starting out with the Lenormand deck by Chiro Marsetti and I'm going to just quick do a circle spread. I like to start out with this deck so I can get a big picture view of the energy surrounding whichever uh, Aries I'm reading for during this general reading. Now, I almost said Libra, and that does happen, I notice, not only for myself, but other readers. And that means that they're trying to connect with an Aries who is either dealing with a Libra, someone who has Libra in their chart, or maybe you have Libra in your chart. So Spirit wants to talk to you. All right, so let's clarify for whichever Aries I'm reading for, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, with clearly defined messages regarding the energies surrounding them and the energies that will be available for them to work with in the first half of June of 2020. Okay, so whichever Aries this is, you may have been feeling stuck or trapped if only in your thoughts. And in the thoughts position, we have the bear energy. So this is an Aries who may be thinking of someone who's of a bigger build, someone who's financially abundant, secure, and stable. This could be an Aries who is saying, I'm going to free my mind and step into a, a new chapter where I can become my own business owner. Um, I can open my heart and free myself from what was preventing me to do so. So I feel that energy almost all the way into and through the 10th or the 15th, the whole first half of June of 2020 Aries. Now in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we do have the ship. So this is spirit saying uh, it could be that during the first half of we'll just say the first half of June of 2020 where you are going to be traveling toward towards another or an or, or others or someone's going to be traveling towards you that spirit's giving you the strength to travel into the direction where you can maybe start your own small business make a bird house paint it mail it and then line up your paypal account with your bank account you sell one thing on amazon and it starts to free your mind so what's happening for the collective is that people are so in their mind okay um this if you'll look back at my other videos is a time of self-awareness it's a time of new beginnings right the old things of the last 20 30 years you know like the old actors the old uh singers and etc the next generation will not have known any of that so what we're being guided as a collective to do at this time is to build on our own foundation for i feel like this moment of pause through this epidemic has put us all on the same level as a ceo we can start something from our home and we can start a small business on one of the many free internet platforms and sell things right from our own home environment market a product or work for a company that is a successful position um, at a virtual distance so there's a lot of that energy uh, showing up here for whichever aries that means spirits trying to clarify who you are in the first half of june of 2020. So know that in the first half of June of 2020, Aries, you have the compass. And the compass is a very spiritual card. It's spirit saying, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities when it comes to what you are creating. When it comes to travel into new directions, even if it's virtually. When it comes to others coming towards you or you towards them in the relationship sector. Four, we are going to guide you into a higher, better path. A more fulfilling path. A path of abundance financially, emotionally, and spiritually. So in the actions position in the first half of June of 2020, Aries, you are being guided with the four-leaf clover to recognize that spirit's trying to guide you into a path of success. For the four-leaf clover energy is about a, a blessed and lucky path being offered uh, by the universe. So Spirit's saying, take action and follow our advice. Travel and try new directions, new ideas. And this process will free your mind in the first half of June of 2020. For we have Spirit trying to guide you into a higher, better path. So have trust and faith in that. Now, by mid-June of 2020, we have the tree. So this is clarification that emotionally, 
Hopefully you're using the tree energies by grounding yourself, by pulling your mind out of things around you and instead putting your head down for an hour or two where you shut off the TV, light a candle, play soft music, and come up with ideas, goals, and intentions, making changes to some of your creative ideas. For someone here may have an aha moment as soon as June 5th where they recognize a position they want to be or that they want to open their heart to a person, place, circumstance, situation. No longer are they stuck or trapped, if only in their thoughts, because they're recognizing the signs and synchronicities through the energies of cause and effect. So they're saying, um, Aries, as you put one foot in front of the other and you do what it is that you enjoy day to day, as you find peace, joy, contentment, and happiness in your own personal journey, you may come to the realization Six of Diamonds is jumping out regarding a successful and blessed path. So continue emotionally to know that as you ground yourself through your ideas, goals, and intentions, you will eventually be able to step into a new direction. So in the subconscious position, Aries, they're saying, remember this bridge. This is spirit offering this magical, beautiful, golden bridge, helping you to bridge your life path journey into a higher, better direction. Okay, so in the day-to-day -day aspects position, you will have the strength in the first half of June of 2020 Aries to sweep away from indecision about where spirit's trying to guide you. I feel like you may be working on something, crossing that bridge, putting time and effort in, and then all of a sudden, boom, through your actions, you come to the realization of a karmic and blessed path, opportunity, direction. So in your inner strengths position, Aries, you have the strength to bring whatever to an end that no longer serves you, to go through a very spiritual transformation by trusting in yourself and watching for signs and synchronicities from spirit that you will eventually find yourself stepping into a path that you were meant to experience in your life. So they're saying a lot of humans um, do what humans believe they're supposed to do, right? Go to school, go to college, get a job, have benefits. Uh, but it brings us into sometimes a path of unhappiness and unfulfillment in some way because we didn't follow um, our purpose. And we can discover our purpose at any time in our lives. It may take a whole year as we put time and effort into new ideas to recognize our purpose. Your purpose is what you're passionate about. So a lot of people have disconnected and lost what it is they're passionate about. So go back to your childhood is what they're saying, Aries, and think about what you like to do as a child, what you always wanted to learn about or do. You know, I had a message come last night about if you want to be um, a news broadcaster and own your own news broadcasting business, start a YouTube channel and be that without an education, you know, because people now, like I said, are going to be on the same platform. Everybody's getting a fresh start. So people need to awaken, right, to how you're going to free yourself from stagnant energy, how you're going to plant new seeds, goals, and intentions to travel into a new direction, knowing that spirit is giving the ship you the ship in order to do so in relation to another or others. Some may be stuck and trapped in their thoughts because of, like I said, a uh, someone uh, I'm getting financially abundant, stable, and secure, or just a stable and secure person hopes that you can open your heart to someone, but you're feeling stuck or trapped in your thoughts. And spirit, that's why spirit's saying, in your creative aspects position, continue to focus on forward movement with your life. Four, what happens is when we put too much thought and energy into another person, the natural reaction of the energy is for that person to pull away. But when we take time to go within and to work on what fulfills us day to day. We can then share with others that joy and be proud of who we are as we come into self-awareness. So in a three-card summary to my right with the same Lenormand deck, we've got the first position representing the first week, week and a half of June of 2020. So somebody here is choosing to surpass whatever fears are blocking them, whatever fears are keeping them in a state of confusion and step into the path of enlightenment. So Spirit's saying right away when you hear this video, write down, what is it that I am fearing when it comes to letting my light shine?
We do have uh, some form of sly cunning or manipulative behavior in the area of home. Uh, there may be someone who's hoping to kind of go towards another and they can't let that rest from their mind. Could be an opportunity. Some of you are thinking about a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but you're not even sure what you want or what they want. So with the Wishing Well energies in the first half of June of 2020, use this energy to get clear with spirit about what you are wishing for. If you are with the fish energy, hoping to create greater abundance, joy, and happiness financially, emotionally, and spiritually, continue to put time and effort in day to day and pray to spirit when it comes to what you are hoping to see as a result of your efforts. Look at that. For some, you may start, you know, maybe you don't feel like it today and you're just going to kind of sit back and think about it and wait for spirit to kind of guide you, pray to spirit to guide you as to what it is you've always wanted to learn about or do. So for example, I do tarot, oil painting, pottery, photography, poetry. I wrote and illustrated my own children's book that's available on Amazon.com. Think of the journey ahead, especially now, as an opportunity to plant new seeds, goals and intentions and ideas. And as you tend to these different ideas day to day, watching to see which one grows and prospers. For that is the direction by which Spirit's trying to guide this Aries to go towards a wish come true and they're helping you when the star shows up to get excited about a new direction so not only create an idea but it, create an idea that you're really excited and passionate about maybe making bowls out of rocks and you know whatever it could be I, that was just an idea that got put in my mind all right so moving towards a wish come true because you devoted yourself to you now, some are still thinking about the devotion of another in the first half of June of 2020, looking out the window kind of in that moment of, is this or is this not my soul path, my soul direction, my soul connection? And Spirit's advice here in the next three weeks, Aries, is to roll the dice and take a risk and free yourself from the burdens of indecision. Get out and text, talk, tweet, and communicate with buildings, organizations, uh, connect with people who maybe know what it is you want to learn more about. Maybe go to a university and virtually learn how to oil paint. This is about texting, talking, tweeting, or someone's going to be texting, talking, tweeting with you, Aries, around the 12th of June of 2020, and it has to do with a building and organization, a big offer or opportunity. Oh, my goodness. So as you are researching with the book energies, the previous chapters, and what you're creating now for the next chapter during the next year, Spirit is saying you're going to be thinking about a commitment, partnership, or contract. Now, for some, I'm seeing the 25th or 26th of June, but I feel like by mid-June, you are contemplating an offer or an opportunity of what? Of stability with the anchor. You are able to now come to this aha moment we talked about. I don't know if it's going to happen around the 5th of June or the 5th of July. It all comes down to, are you following Spirit's advice and taking action day to day? Because if you don't, you, you'll just remain stuck, stagnant, and confused. Spirit's wanting to give you an aha moment when it comes to that beautiful security. So continue to share or connect with others. So if you create some form of oil painting, slap a price on it, share it with the world, put it out on Amazon, and uh, there will be communication for some Aries around the 12th of June of 2020 regarding some form of communication or paperwork. Maybe that you won't sign on to until the 27th of June of 2020. Yeah, so they're saying be patient throughout the first half of June of 2020, Aries, because at some point in time you may have to choose or may be excited to choose one idea, one direction, one offer or opportunity from another. For some, there may be two different opportunities. Wow. And there's the number two in the actions position with the clover representing a blessed and lucky journey, giving you the strength to bring an end to feeling trapped or stuck. Yeah, they're saying... 
don't look at the path ahead as long and difficult. Look at it as an exciting new playful adventure. Get clear about what you enjoy. Ooh, some here, and I've been seeing this, singles. I really felt like the week of the 18th was going to be where people are going to start meeting each other after people have been alone for a long period of time. So there's a very important message for the collective as well here that we need not look at the obstacles of life too intensely because it takes away from that playful energy. Spirit wants us to be grounded and playful and joyful and say, hey, I create cabinets or I create houses or I create songs and I'm very happy, joyful and playful in my life because I know I need to go through the mountain to get to the blessing on the other side. I need to look at the path ahead as an exciting new adventure and enjoy my life day to day. For by mid-June, there's still a little bit of confusion here and Spirit's advising with the magnifying glass to look a little bit deeper, to go within and have hope and push beyond energies of the mice which represent anxiety. For you will be receiving a lot of attention and recognition as you come together and meet up, negotiate and connect with another or others. If you're single, there could be a passionate masculine or you're feeling this energy. And someone here is offering kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, and or invitations. Someone at a distance, someone maybe that you don't live with in your current environment day to day at this time, single Aries. For you're going to recognize that someone at a distance from you day to day is indeed a divine and blessed connection. Some are meeting their soulmates. Now, this is a year in 2020 to create a solid foundation in many areas. But grounding ourselves first and coming into an awareness of what we want to create for ourselves in the year of 2020, in the area of foundation and love and money. You know, we could all make around the same amount of money doing what we enjoy and no one being in charge or above another, all creating what we were sent here to be which is our sole purpose, God's purpose for us. So if your purpose is to knit and then to share what you're knitting with the world and your own uniqueness, you will start to shine in financial abundance and offers and opportunities will come your way, maybe as soon as the first half of June of 2020. So I'm going to clarify real quick with the Gilded Tarot deck. Look at that. So some of you have already met someone. I know somebody who did. And I guessed it when I did her reading that it was the 12th of May when they met and her wishes are coming true. And she's quite shocked or surprised, actually. She's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but I feel her energy here. She's freeing her mind from all that destructive crap. Pardon my French. And she is making, or he is making their wishes come true. Thinking about a leadership position and or someone who is in one Maybe someone who's of a bigger build. Or you are opening your heart to speaking your truth about your successes, about your goals and intentions to others without fearing being judged because no one has the right to judge because lest they be judged, right? So in the relationship sector, the circle spread by, I think, the second week of June of 2020, we have relationships, celebrating relationships with family and friends, making changes maybe in the area of home and family. This is the Ten of Cups. This is the happily ever after. Traveling into the direction of a happily ever after energy, be it with another or within yourself, finding your own joy and happiness. So in the creative aspects position, we have the Compass. I think this Aries is going to be realizing in the first half of June of 2020, that he or she with the Queen of Pentacles energies has stepped into a path of great fulfillment, contentment, money, stability, and an open heart. And Spirit's recognizing that with the compass energies, and that's where they're saying, see, we told you this was going to happen, a reason to celebrate a happily ever after, because you're speaking your truth, now you're sharing who you are as you come into this awareness of who you were meant to be, what you were meant to do that you enjoy every day. Now, in the actions position, we have the 
four-leaf clover. So a blessed and lucky path being offered to you from the universe. Oh my gosh, Aries, with the Ace of Wands. So they're saying take action to step into a new exciting path journey for some towards a very passionate connection. Maybe with someone who has fire in their chart or this is just fire in you when it comes to whatever it is that's on your mind. If you're married, this could be a project. A more financially abundant, secure and stable opportunity. So emotionally, we have the moon. Trying to find clarity, having hope as you plant new seeds and being contented emotionally with that energy in the first half of June of 2020. Yeah, so subconsciously, the only one keeping you stuck or trapped, Aries, is you. Maybe you were feeling trapped or stuck because of a situation involving a, an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, but you created this yourself. The Eight of Swords is about... Um, false entrapment. So spirit's trying to guide you into a new path so you can free yourself, your mind subconsciously. And instead, get excited about a new financial or creative path or idea so that you can sweep away from feeling stuck or trapped. So in the inner strengths position, we have the Coffin, And when the coffin shows up, that means spirit's giving you the strength to allow things to go full circle, to allow this very spiritual transformation within you to free your mind and help make your wishes come true, to step into an exciting new journey that was meant to be. So in a three card summary to my right. I don't know if we did one with the, yeah, we did. So they're saying divine timing will help you to rise above, have an aha moment, continue to research what it is that makes you very playful day to day. Do not allow yourself to become discontent or bored in the first half of June of 2020. Look at the path ahead, not as long and difficult, but as an exciting new adventure. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities for spirit's going to bring you some wisdom. And by the 22nd, maybe... Wow, that could be as soon as tomorrow. Let me know, Aries. You start to contemplate one path or another. Yeah, unsure. And Spirit's saying, you know, sweep away, Aries, from indecision. Go out and, uh, and research the information you need. It almost feels too good to be true, but... Whatever you've been working on or towards, there is going to be a beautiful path overflowing with peace, joy, and contentment. Right off the bat in a three-card summary to my left with the Gilded Tarot deck. So Aries, whatever you are putting your effort and energy into, you could very well indeed step into a better, higher, more fulfilling journey. Somebody wants to offer you some form of money. For others, you are contemplating, is this a balanced situation? Can I no longer fight a battle? Maybe with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini? You now, you now have one sword left, so you could cut away from all that was. Learn from what transpired. Allow the Ten of Swords to now dissipate. Stand up as a more stronger and aware person and now move into the direction of a very blessed connection be it with a family member, be it with a friend, you know, however that applies. Somebody may come towards you very, very quickly. For some of you, this could be as soon as tomorrow. I hope that I get these out today. Oh my gosh, what a long day ahead. For some are celebrating something. Their wishes are coming true. The wheel of fortune turned in their favor. They went full circle. They are now contemplating their money and how to move ahead in the first half of June of 2020, this Aries. There's indecision, maybe because children are involved or a connection tied to the past. But Aries, it is indeed time for a new chapter so you can free yourself from someone who was negative, harsh, or intense. Because someone wants to open their heart to you. As you were giving birth to your goals and intentions, you're now going to be contemplating, and some of you already are if you have Aries in your chart even, a connection with maybe a water sign who's been there, done that. They're emotionally stable. They're very kind and supportive. A water sign, maybe Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So spirit with this major arcana in the first half of June of 2020 is going to help you to give birth to smoother waters. 
Spirit's going to help you to free yourself from any sort of illusions. Some of you may be waiting on an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and they're just going to take a little while, and that's why Spirit's saying in the meantime, or waiting on money to come in the meantime. Again, you're going to be contemplating one path or another by maybe mid-June of 2020. We have two major arcanas. So this could be, I'm trying to manifest this very hot and passionate connection. For others, you are dealing with a Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. I'm feeling Gemini here because that's what the lovers is represented by in the major arcana. They are manifesting great success. And therefore, you can lay down an old battle that you've been waiting to do. But yeah, there's all kinds of indecision, worry, fear. And eventually, a shocking realization from someone who's in a leadership position. You start to recognize the direction of victory. And it may come in quickly and unexpectedly. But Aries, Spirit is telling you with the card on the bottom of the Gilded Tarot deck, we want you to take a chance on this new direction so that you can bring an end to all that didn't serve you, that was unhealthy, that kept you trapped or stuck, if only in your thoughts. Wow. So I'm going to close with one card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed Closing message, please, for this Aries during the first half of June of 2020. So you guys have the well watcher, right? It's time to obtain more wisdom about who you are, coming into an awareness, praying to spirit, and trusting in the power of the divine. Number seven, that's when it's a very spiritual number. It's when we're researching where we've been, what we've always enjoyed, what we want to learn more about, and how we're going to create abundance financially, emotionally, and spiritually as we create a new direction. Yeah, again, we've got the Shadow Queen energy here. So this is about acquiring knowledge, like we talked about, obtaining more wisdom, because wisdom is power. And power will give you the strength to step beyond energies of insecurity or manipulation. So some of you may be recognizing that you're manipulative, but you'll also have the strength to bring a situation to an end, remember, in the inner strengths position. And then we have by mid-June of 2020, for others, maybe it'll take till the 27th of June, some form of sacred union or romance. Again, I'm seeing, I saw the king, there could very well be a Pisces here, they have Pisces in their chart. And Spirit's saying, enjoy the journey, Aries. Sit in patience, in the energies of patience and stillness. Continue to work on you day to day. And know that spirit will bring you those signs and synchronicities as you sit in a moment of self-reflection and non-judgment. For as you persevere and make your dreams come true, you will be compensated in whatever area you've been missing, right? So if this is love and you haven't met someone yet, or you just did, Hand your worries about relationships to spirit and say, I trust in you, spirit, to bring me the right one. And then get back to work when it comes to planting seeds, goals, and intentions. So they're saying when you are in a state of confusion or, or illusion, give yourself some time to ground yourself once again and focus on what fulfills you. For some form of communication is going to show up. And like this other person, it could have happened on the 12th of May or it's going to happen on the 12th of June. This is paperwork. This is communication. This is through maybe Facebook, the Internet, and so on. This is so beautiful. So we are going from today is the May 21st. We are in the energy of the full moon, which was in Scorpio. So this was about really shallow relationships not working, needing to dig a little bit deeper, surprising truths coming out. And at the same time, now we're on the 21st, going into the 22nd, we're going to have a new moon in Gemini. And this is all about harmony, harmony with our thoughts and feelings. Because we know that as we persevere towards what we want to see ourselves 
grow into and shed that light of our awareness. That's really deep energy. They're also saying, uh, as you are creating your dreams, share it with the collective good. So let me know how these applied uh, to you. Um, thank you to those of you whom have sent me the things you've been creating, the excitement and the joy of how you did find your purpose. That is what is just keeping me going day to day. If you'd like your own personal reading, I do offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below. Just write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I am still offering the Easter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to hit the bell because I am spiritually led as to when I'm going to be uh, uh, downloading the video so you'll be the first to know. Thank you so much to those of you who have donated to keep my channel up and running. Take care and God bless.